Welcome to the People Connect Podcast. Your network is your net worth. Are you ready to take your life to the next level? Be prepared to leap out of your comfort zone and connect with the who's who of what you want to do. Stop, drop, and roll as we start, market, and grow the CEO of you and your host, Nichelle Womack. She will help you engage, reinvent, motivate, and reactivate your plans for success. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Nichelle with 2XL with Nichelle.com, bringing you information, inspiration, and motivation to help you start, market, and grow into the CEO of you. I do that by providing you with daily tips, strategies, and hacks to help you to start that profitable business from your kitchen table while you're still working your nine to five. I'm the startup CEO helping you to do that. If you'd like to learn more about me and what I do to help you, Click the link in my bio to excel with Nichelle.com and you can learn everything, a lot of things that you need to know to help you to start that business, grow that business, market that business, and profit from that business. I'm also on Instagram at Nichelle Womack and I'm on Twitter at Nichelle Womack. So today we're going to talk about some hacks for time management. I don't know about you, but sometimes time kind of capitalizes or gains more interest from me than I expect for it to because it typically it easily goes away and I state to you all the time time is a commodity that you can't get back once it's gone so as an entrepreneur it's so very key and important that you utilize your time to the best of your ability when it is available to be used and know how to appropriate your time correctly so that you're not wasting your time there are a lot of tire kickers out there people that will waste your time um, constantly asking you questions never move forward people that will tell you they need help but don't seek help themselves to help you get the help that they need you got to help yourself if you want somebody else to help you so time management learning how to utilize it to the best of your advantage as an entrepreneur will take you far in your journey the first thing I want to share with you in order to be a successful entrepreneur is so important and so essential that you're able to manage your time. And so the first thing that I share with my clients on a regular basis, I talked to you a while ago about list and how important and essential lists are for you in um, securing business opportunities to develop business, even to manage your own time. Lists are essential in my life. And I literally go towards my list on a regular basis. I keep a notebook with me and I did not bring it in here, but I keep a notebook with me to consistently jot things down because I do forget. And if I forget, then I'm not going to, I'm going to have to hold myself accountable. And so using lists to manage your schedule of things to do list and people to call really will uh, clear up some areas where you may feel stressed out or frustrated in your journey of entrepreneurship. If you have a schedule, this is a list. It can be a day by day, month by month, week by week, year by year, whatever works for you. Lists are always essential to manage time. I personally, as I mentioned, I keep my notebook. So each day I have uh, bullet pointed things that I need to do for that day and accomplish them. Not all days do I get everything done. But if I know that if I put it down on a piece of paper and bullet point them, then for sure something's going to get accomplished. Hello, how are you? Something's going to get accomplished. And my ultimate goal is to get everything accomplished. But then by Friday, what I do is go back through that daily goal list that I have and check off things that I did not complete. And obviously that is the top of the list on my Monday that I start with within the week. I'm fabulous in you. And so keep in mind that making lists really can help you get from point A to point B. If you do a things to do list, um, organization is so key for success. You know, like today I had my um, webinar, uh, my masterclass I did today, seven strategies to help you um, decide whether or not real estate is for you. I had that on my list and I scratched that off, completed that today. We had a very successful broadcast with that class, how to know if real estate is for you. If you do not know, that is my primary business that I started 25 years ago and since then branched off to other things. But um, I was teaching the client or some of the students that came into that class how to manifest your time within the real estate business and to see if it's for you. Because real estate, even though um, it is not a timely activity, when you're learning it, 
in the journey, it can be timely because you're trying to learn everything that you need to do. You're not going to learn it overnight just as you would any business. Nothing is going to be learned overnight. So get you a things to do list and make sure you are able to check things off with that. People to call every day. There is somebody to call in business. Make certain that you put on your list the people that you need to get in contact with. Check your emails. You know, some days I know like today, I didn't get a chance to check my emails until just recently. And I had probably 150 emails. I have multiple email address, addresses for different businesses and I had over 150 emails. So I just went through and cleared all, not all of them, but a good portion of them out so that it is not, um, don't clog up what I need to see for tomorrow or for the rest of this week. And so sometimes if you're not organized with your email list, what you find out is that you have an over an abundance and you end up missing an important email that could come through to give you another business opportunity for a JV opportunity or anything of that nature. So keep in mind, people to call, email list, those things need to be put on your list on Monday so you know the things that you need to do to keep and stay on track. The next thing that I do is I carry and schedule and record my thoughts as I spoke to you about that earlier because every day I'm coming up with content. I'm coming up with things that I need to do in my business, people that I need to reach out to, things that I want to do, growth and development. And I can just walk down the street and get inspiration from something. I can go into a home and that I'm showing for a client, um, you know, and get inspiration, decoration ideas um, or different things that I can do to incorporate in my business. I get inspiration daily. And so when you have that pad, it becomes your bodyguard. <laughs> it's something that you consistently have on a regular basis to keep you accountable to. And also to be inspired by the thoughts that you have. You never know how you can go back. I, I've gone back a couple of weeks and read something that I wrote and got inspiration out of that to either do a broadcast with, um, to do a class with, to share with my students. So always jot down your thoughts and no idea is a bad idea. Whoever came up with that, you know, um, no stupid, no question is a stupid question. There's never anything such as that because you can always expand and expound on different things and different ideas based upon the questions or the comments that you get. And I actually go back to sometimes of in my classes, like tonight we had questions. I'll go back and review those and address those because obviously if some one person had it, somebody else might have the same question as well. So carry a schedule and record your thoughts. Begin uh, doing that activities and things of that nature so you can stay on top of your conversations throughout the week blessings to you hey pops what you doing on this late how you how you how are you how are you thanks for coming in and popping up that love i pray it's been a great week for you the next thing you need to do is don't instantly give people your attention people as i mentioned earlier the um tire kickers the people that drain from you where which makes you unable to appropriate things correctly in your business throughout the day really can take a lot of time away from your schedule um like today, for instance, I had a situation that I should have resolved last week, but it kind of got a little over my head and I didn't address it accordingly. And so today it came back and haunted me. And so I had to pick up the phone. I had to sit down and literally analyze it so that I can wrap it up right then and there and it won't happen again. Some things you have to give your attention to and then some things you don't. Like my phone kept ringing today. All I kept telling my, my assistant, please take a message because I'm not available today. I'm trying to get some things situated because I knew I had that class today, that master class today. And I really wanted to concentrate on that so that I can give good information to the clients that are registered for the course. Yes, rip it, nip it in the bud. You know what pops? Nipping things in the bud is so key to success because the longer it lingers along the more you get caught up and the more the situation gets caught up. And I find that if I don't nip it in the bud, as you say, right then and there, then, you know, it, it becomes a catastrophe later on. And so in order to be successful as an entrepreneur, any mom, wife, husband, whatever, you have to nip things in the bud. Thanks, Pops, right away. Got to do it right away. And by not giving everything and everybody your attention, that right there, too, can add more can give you more time uh, to your business, to your life, to your relationship because you have your time focused on what needs to be focused on. 
Again, time is a commodity that you cannot get back. So the more you give it away, the more you give it to things that don't necessarily deserve your attention, the more that you find that you are losing time on a daily basis. The next thing that I put into my list is that you need to make sure you schedule time for interruptions. Procrastination is a stressor. You then have to play catch up. Yes. And for entrepreneurs, Pops, I find that that is really the, the stifle of people succeeding in any area of their business, life, and relationships. I know someone, um, actually, um, I was talking to them about relationships because I do have a relationship blog that I talk about. And um, he was stating to me that he has been procrastinating about asking his fiance to marry him. And I'm like, why are you procrastinating? And he said, because I don't know when the right time. There is not a right time. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Make it simple. And I'm sure she's probably waiting on it but people wait too long and then sometimes that opportunity is gone you know that opportunity is gone the longer you procrastinate the opportunity can disappear and so we have to be mindful of that if you want something you have to go after it you have to go after it immediately and also schedule that time for those interruptions because interruptions will come in your life they will things will interrupt you that will not allow you to carry on as need be so you have to learn how to schedule that time waits for no one pops you are so right about that and I think the more you age, the more you understand that and learn that. Because when I talk to these young kids, I have some young students in my class and they think time is just going to be forever. And I'm like, okay, the older you get, you recognize that time makes waits for no one and that time is a precious gift. It's a commodity that if you do not use it to your advantage, if you do not take full opportunity of every piece of time that you get, then you're going to find yourself, as you stated, Pops, catching up. Not only that, you're going to be discouraged. You're going to probably quit for the simple reason you're going to say, I just don't have time. That's the main comment or complaint that I hear from people on a regular basis. I don't have time. And when I'm speaking to people that are interested in starting businesses, unless you stuck in limbo and denial, exactly, exactly pops. When you tell me you don't have time for yourself, but you give your employer eight to 10 to 12 hours a day, and you don't have time for yourself to sit down and start to process what you're good at, what would you like to do? What can you build? What can you expand? What can you start marketing grow? Then you literally are saying to yourself, I'm not worth it. I, I don't have enough value for the simple reason I'm giving every piece of value that I have to someone who's signing my check. You know, the only way that you'll get to the point of signing your own check is that you give time, that you you allow some interruption of time right there for you. And even if you working up tonight, sometimes I work up until 12. One, I just was telling my husband just a second ago, I'm like extremely tired. Last night, I stayed up to about three o'clock working on some proposals and different things that I have uh, for home health, for my home health business. And, you know, it was just really, really a long day yesterday. And I'm literally tired then working on this PhD, you know, but I, I don't complain because I know those are things that need to be done. If I want to keep getting contracts, it's going to require me to work after hours. And sometimes you have to do that. When people tell me they're going to get a part time job, my first question is, why are you getting a part time job when you can start working a part time business to build assets from there? Because see, you're going what you're doing is trading hours for dollars. You leave it at nine to five and then you go into that part time job doing exactly what you did at that nine to five. Yes, it's a little extra extra money but once you add in the taxes and the wages and the deductions to FICA and and all that kind of stuff what you're gonna find out is that you're not making any money at all it will all pay off for you in the long run I pray it does pops that's the ultimate goal when we're talking about time management I pray that everything I'm doing that it manifests because remember last year that's all we talked about manifestation and manifestation takes time it does this not happen immediately just by talking about it you have to do things in order for man manifestation to take place you have to visualize it for it to take place and in the process of visualizing it you have to put an action plan together and that consists of time management you know how much time of your day are you going to manifest on your dreams how much time of your day are you going to give to other people and you're not giving any to yourself even within the relationship standpoint you know one thing that my husband and I definitely try to do is have a little time for each other because we both lead busy lives you know even though we're empty nesters now in some aspect 
You know, it's still to the point where we have to almost schedule time to see each other for the simple reason we both lead busy lives. So if you are in the process of engagement, marriage, or whatever you may be, you have to devote time to what's important to you. You have to devote time to what's important to you. Hey, Pastor Monique, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. You have to devote time to what's important to you because if you don't, you will find that that important factor, that person, that opportunity, whatever it may be, it can easily leave. So, yes. Uh, okay, great, honey. I got a super thing. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Monique. A super hard. Oh, praise God. I didn't even know I had that thing. I must have updated my phone. <laughs> <laughs> or it updated itself, something like that, because I didn't even know that was on there. Thanks for retweeting as well. I really appreciate that, lady. So, Ben, uh, those are some tips that I hope and pray that it helps you manifest in your vision, in your activities, in your life, because the only way it's going to happen is if you make a decision. A lot of people wait and you can't get anywhere waiting. You know, as I mentioned, you know, I have a lot on my plate and I know I'm not the only one because when you carry many titles, you're going to have a lot on your plate, but you can't make excuses. You know, tired is not an excuse. You know, um, you know, don't have the money is not an excuse. Uh, don't know enough people is not an excuse. I don't know how to do it is not an excuse. You know, figure out, figure out how to do it. People do it every day. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. And you know, we're I'm I'm quick. I, I will. I've had to retract my mindset because I'm quick to say. You know, look, I got a lot on my plate. Excuses are for losers. Yes, pops, they are. But, you know, we all have a lot on our plate. But that but is always in there. How are you going to manage what you want to develop? How are you going to manage what you want to grow, manifest, and all of that? You can't do it with excuses. It comes a time where time management should be essential, and you sit down and you focus, um, and, and you gear it towards what it is that you need to do. And you allot time. As I mentioned, my number four, schedule time for interruptions because you're going to have interruptions. Typically, my interruption time throughout the day is between about 12 and 1.30. And I try to use that time because I'm typically eating. I normally have a working lunch. And so I'm sitting at my desk or I'm out in my car somewhere eating. But I, I use that time to make return phone calls because I know throughout the day I'm either dealing with patients or families or I'm dealing with clients with real estate insurance or something like that along those lines. And I just, you know, the time just goes away. And before I know it, it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. Then it's time for me to go to class. <laughs> so I cannot make an excuse and I challenge you not to make excuses in 2018 because if you want we're going into March 1st tomorrow and believe it or not I have two clients right now that I'm working with they have not even I mean and, and they're not even consistent and they know that I will tell them that if you want to accomplish what you told me you were going to accomplish when we first start working it's going to require you I can't make you get out of bed in the morning. I can't make you do the things that you say you want to do. You have to have that goal and, and gusto inside of you. All I can do is push you, push you and tell you why. You must keep your diet healthy to keep up with your high demands. I do. I do. I just actually, I cooked tonight some chicken carbonara and it was so good. Yes, I do keep my, I'm a very healthy eater. I eat a lot of greens. Um, I got a health broadcast website thing that I'm coming out with within the next couple of, um, I would say probably it'd be about April 1st when everything is functional and running. So I'm concentrating um, the life coaching aspect in the health wise, not going to be a health coach or anything of that nature, but I'm just sharing healthy practices that you need to uh, manifest in too, as you just mentioned, Pops, when you have a high demand life. And I do that. And I take vitamins. You have to take those vitamins on a regular basis. And that's part of the, um, the, the results of staying resilient. You have to stay resilient. And if your body and your mind is not to that point, then you're going, that's, that's where, where we say we're tired. That's why it's easy to say I'm tired when you don't do that. Are you going to talk about skin health? Girl, nah. Uh -uh. Cause you know what? I promise you. And I'm not just saying this, this weekend, uh, Pastor Monique and this, um, this week here, yesterday, I've had so many people to compliment me on my skin, and I, I don't think I have good skin. I mean, you can see I, I don't have a, I don't have acne or anything, but you know, I know that there are some flaws on my skin. But I've had some people ask me that, "What do you do to keep your skin?" I just drink water. I drink water and I cleanse my face every day. I do exfoliate. 
you know, you do, <laughs> you have to exfoliate. I do that because that removes the dead skin cells. So I do that. Black don't crack. I guess that's what it is. You know, what not? I, I like to attribute it to that or just a healthy living and I do eat healthy. So I don't know what it is, but I don't do anything extra outside of washing my face, um, drinking water consistently. I'm thirsty now. I got to get me some water. Drinking water consistently, like probably 10 times a day. So I'm always running to the to the uh, stall. <laughs> and not only that, uh, and then washing your face. You know, you got to remove. Yes, thank you so much. I'm proud of you too, lady. Because see, you should be finished right now with that class, right? Getting ready to take them, them midterms. I know you finished with the class. You just got to take the test. That's where you are right now from the last time we talked, if I'm not mistaken. I'm proud of you too. I'm proud of everybody that is up leveling their life because it can be hectic. Yes, you. I'm your ideal client. Why? Because my uh, the skin. Because I'm exfoliating. Or because I don't. Because <laughs> I don't do enough. Yes, I, I do believe you should take care of the external just like you take care of the internal. But a lot of people mistake and they do more for the external than they do for the internal. You know, and when you're talking about internal, I'm talking about that mind. I'm talking about what you digest. Yes, you praise God. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much, Pops. Oh, my God. You are an inspiration for my aspiration. <laughs> Thank you, Pops. You are inspiring as well with all your great comments and your commentary. Yes, we have to always encourage each other because encouragement keeps us up level in our life. You never know. You finish and pass everything in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Girl, now I know that feel good. I know it feels good. That's amazing. So you're going to be walking. Make sure. Make sure. Can you document that? Can you document that? Tell me what day. And then you might want to get on there and be like, look, I'm graduating today because that's an accomplishment. Anytime you can walk across anybody's stage. Yes, 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 yes. I am so proud of you. Praise God, because I know you've been working on that for quite some time because I'm compliant. <laughs> Yes, I literally am. I'm pretty much compliant. I'm pretty much every now and then I do fall short because I'm human. I do fall short, but I, I do the right things that I need to do. And, and at those times that I fall short, got another accepted contract. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> the times that I fall short, then I, I sit back and I analyze. Yes, 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 yes. Analyze what did I do? What took me off track? And what do I need to do to get back on track? And I encourage every entrepreneur to do that. Sit back. You got to be compliant for success. And in time will get away from you. As I mentioned, we're talking about time management. It will get away from you, but you have to know how to come back and pull it back in. You got to learn how to pull it back in. And sometimes that's hard to do when you have a full plate, but don't make excuses. Just keep going. Keep doing what you do. You will let me know. Okay. Praise God. Uh, send me a DM or something so that I can be aware and schedule some time throughout the day. I'm sure it's going to be during the daytime or is it the weekend? And schedule some time to take note of that. So proud of you. May God continue to bless and anoint you in your business. May he continue to up level you where you're able to financially. You And those strategies that we talked about, Pastor Monique, too. You should be um, having that weekly. Remember we I told you about the clients? You know, getting people to host those shows for you and stuff. That's a great avenue for you to go ahead and take that business to the next level. I'm telling you, work a lady that I had um, actually kind of almost told her the same strategy that you have. She sells Mary Kay to do that. She's been getting a, little, a few more parties booked. A few more parties, but you got to you got to put yourself out there. You got to put yourself out there. You got to be willing to take the risk because that's how the wealthy do it all the time. The wealthy consistently take risks. Now, I'm not to the point of wealth where I want to be. I'm working on it every day. But I tell you what, I'm not afraid to take a risk. I'm not afraid to say I don't know how to do something. I'm not afraid to invest in myself, get the coaching, get the take the classes or do whatever else I need to do. Pray to God who is the real GPS. And well, yes, he will. He will recap. Yes, he will recalibrate calibrate you yes he will he is that gps that god gives you is his true destination he leads you to your purpose he leads you to your direction he leads you to the dreams that you have because see god says clearly in his word asking you shall receive but he also says that you got to use that in the name of jesus praise the lord use the will and the determination and desire that i give you you have to expand on that and expound on it god does not say be satisfied he says be content where you are while you're working and moving towards your goals and your dreams that's where that word abundance come from yes ma'am you know people think just because the word of god it does say be content in there but it don't say stay stagnant it says abundance you can't get abundance being content and where you are because you should progressively always want to get better and do better 
You know, that's why, again, we go back to that same verbiage, why there's rich in the Bible and why there's poor, because the poor stay stagnant. They stay there in their contentment. They don't understand and recognize that God has more for them and pushing you towards your purpose. I can't tell you how many times God didn't push me to my purpose. You did a group on. <laughs> yes. Praise God. Hey, how's that working? Is anything coming through? Now, you do have to market sometimes on Groupon. You just can't put it up there and let it sit there. You do have to market out there. Let people know it's there so that you can get that exposure. But that is excellent exposure to get you know people to come to your business. I actually put a, a class, too, just recently on Groupon. It, I think it expired. I need to go back and check. But, oh, my God, that class sold out. One of my real estate courses, it sold out on Groupon. And so I know that's a viable opportunity and, um, you know, for people to bring traffic through there. They, you, you can even do a website in a store on Groupon. So that's always something viable if you don't have to add to your portfolio of business. You want to be as many places as you want to, as you can, especially with the, the emergence of social traffic. I'm telling you, sometimes it's so hard for me to do live broadcasts. And, and I hear people, you know, even my coach, the coach that I have, she's like, you got to do more live broadcasts. You got to start talking about more, you know, your, your businesses and stuff. I don't have time. I don't have, I literally do not have time throughout the day. Just like I'm Pastor Monique, you know, you're doing facials, you know, that's a teachable thing that you can do sitting up there. But most of the time I'm transporting patients going from different places or if I'm going to house to house before I'm doing one job going to the next. <laughs> so sometimes it's really hard. It's hard, but I'm going to find a way. I'm going to find a way. I do. I did a broadcast the other day showing people about how to rehab, um, houses that are in distress. So I did come on and do that. Um, but you know, sometimes you just have to push it in there. Got to put it in no excuses, no excuses, find a way or make one. That's my college Clark Atlanta university. They showed us and told us that don't make excuses, find a way or make one because there always is a way out of no way it's doing. Okay. I need to do more for that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, do it for, I did it. I'm telling you, it sold out. I was so happy. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know, because uh, polygamy is, is a sin, isn't it? <laughs> That's a sin. Yeah, marry you. Okay. Um, but that, it, it really did. I was so impressed. And I don't even know the people that, that, that signed up for it. You don't know that you could store with, store, uh-huh, you could do a store on Groupon. Mm -hmm. A website store. Yep, you sure can. Yep, you can. So it's it's so much opportunity out there. A lot of you got to pay for. You know, I I'm just in a prayer. I just got five emails of things that came out of my account today. I'm like, am I really using these things? And all of it totaled like $175 that came out of my account today. And that ain't it. I got to still go through my boots. But right now, I told you all last year. In January, I mean, in December, I was telling you some things you need to do. Go and cancel subscriptions that you're not using and look at what you're using to help aid you in getting better. I mean, I know I have, I'm glad my husband don't see that because I have a ton of stuff coming out that I pay for on a regular basis. So that's one thing that I'm focusing on because some of it's really great stuff that I can use in my business. I'm just trying to focus in on what I really need to up level because I'm not where I want to be. I'm not where I want to be. The, the first three quarters of 2018 have been amazing. The first three months, excuse me, going into March have been amazing. I have um, done very good with my online businesses. I've done very well with my on cl classes that I've had. Um, real estate, oh my God, it's been um, amazing. <laughs> um, the year starting off because right now is our busy time. So it's been amazing. I thank you, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. That's been great home health. All, everything going great. I cannot complain. That's one thing I will not do. We can always complain. But when you complain, who is that helping? It ain't helping you. It's not helping you. In, in fact, it brings upon stress. <laughs> so don't do that. But I thank God for all the blessings. I thank God for opening up my eyes to see things that I did not see before. I thank God for presenting me with opportunity. You know, and all you got to do is stay thankful, stay thankful and grateful and ask God for what you want. And then asking him for what you want, put a plan together, time management, as we've been talking about, put a time management schedule together of what you need to do. You want to check. I want you to check out my website, please. OK, I'll go back there. Have you done anything different since the last time we talked? Have you done anything different? Like some of the suggestions that I gave you the last time? I hope you have. I hope you have. And you got to start sharing that and getting it out there. It's so key that we consistently promote ourselves for the simple reason. If you don't promote yourself, how do you expect somebody else to do it? And nobody knows what you do if you don't tell them.
Yes. And that's one thing because I've been sharing a few more things on my Instagram page about my daily activity when I can post. I've actually scheduled on um, did automated scheduling now so I don't have to be confined to the Instagram page and all that stuff. Now, there's so many great tools out here that we can use in our business and in our life to be productive. You're tweaking some of the things as well as uh, in my biz and personal. Like, yes, praise God. Tweaking is a regular occurrence in our lives. You must consistently tweak. Yes, you do. You must consistently do that. That's the only way you know what's working and what's not working is to tweak some stuff. Because if you don't tweak it, you think it's working, it's, especially if it ain't profiting you. If it's not getting your, um, um, you know, money coming into your account, it's not working. And I've had to do that as well. Because when my class sold out, my real estate class sold out, I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And so many times we doubt ourselves. You know, but you, you have to remove doubt from success because success and doubt cannot, they don't work together. Fear and doubt works together, but success where it works through risk, manifestation, consistency, um, and just moving forward. And so that's what I, I've manifested in already in these two months, keeping my mind focused on what I can do and the things that I can't do. I'm hiring somebody to do that. The things that I want to learn how to do, I'm getting the coaching that I need for that. And um, it's been working in his favor. I've been out of this year already. I know my, my deductions are going to be huge because I've been, yeah, <laughs> it's been a challenge this year of just trying to see where I'm streamlining things from. And so my ultimate goal myself is to have a job I don't have to take a vacation from. Yes. Satan hates when you make progress and finish what you started. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And when you are in the process, my ultimate goal is to have all my businesses work for me instead of me working for my businesses. Right now, I'm building them up. I want everything to be automated. Everything. That is my ultimate goal. Now, I'm not anywhere near there now, but I'm working to that transition to get there. I'm, I'm in the process, in the middle of it, I would say. But when your business can work and you not be there, that's success to me. That's success. And when you see people like Tony Robbins, you see people like, um, you know, Steve Jobs, um, his business of Apple. I know he's just, he's not here, but his name is carried on. When you see consistently roll through that, they consistently push iPhones out, Apple products out. You know, that's working on a consistent basis where you don't necessarily have to be there for that business to work. All you got to do is put the advertisement out there and it's gone. And that's something I've been working on as well, doing different things like that. So you, as I just stated earlier, if you want to be in business, you got to be your best promoter. And a lot of that consists of being time. Find out where your time is most valuable. Find out where you're appreciated and celebrated, not tolerated. Okay. And what are you doing? Um, yeah, that's a yeah, I blocked probably yesterday about 700 people. I, I had a weird broadcast yesterday. Really weird. I don't know where all them strange people came from. But in the name of Jesus, we just have to be more, um, you know, affirm the things that we want in, in our in our daily life. So uh, I'm excited where I'm going. I hope and pray that you're excited where you're going. If you're not, then it's time to sit back and honestly Reevaluate where you are because if you're going into March, yes, everything automated. Amen. If you are going into March and you have not accomplished not one goal, shame on you for not really utilizing your time to your best ability and not really uh, understanding your value and understanding your worth. If you have not accomplished not one goal, my a prayer for you is that you understand that there is a lot out here in this world. There's so much opportunity to make money. There's so many opportunities to connect with people who think like you uh, and even people that don't think like you. You want to be surrounded around people that can up level you to help give you different mindsets about things that are going on. There's so much to do now. There's no time for excuses. As my brother Pop said earlier, you, you just got to move on. And if you want to make this first quarter, you still got some time to make the first quarter of 2018 an amazing time for you to kind of cut up, catapult you into the second, third and fourth quarter of 2018. I'm looking forward to finishing 2018 on top. I'm telling you, 2017 was really good for me, but I'm looking for 2018 to be just the best 
the best. I got some great things planned for myself, my family, for my business partners, for businesses and people that I'm working with. I'm just excited when they send me things of things they have, they've achieved and they have accomplished. You know, not only does that make them feel good, but it makes me feel good too to know that they're listening to what I'm sharing with them and that it's working and that you're able to see results because that's what it boils down to getting results. If you're not getting results, perhaps maybe you're not doing the right thing that you need to do to get the results that you desire. My name is Nichelle and I'm with 2 Excel with Nichelle.com. If you're new to my broadcast, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate you, everybody stopping in, throwing up the love. You can learn more about me and what I do to help you by clicking that link up there in my bio, 2 Excel with Nichelle.com. I'm also on Instagram. You can't soar with the eagles hanging with the turkeys. Amen. Pops, that is so real. That is so true. You cannot. Eagles fly. Turkeys stay on the ground looking for food and pray. Okay. <laughs> yes, I want to fly with the bald eagles. I want to be up there going high with them because they are consistently leveling up to where they need to be in life. And so I'm also on Instagram and Twitter for daily encouragement and inspiration and motivation. And I'm here live Monday through Thursday. I'll be here Friday because I missed a lot of last week sharing some information about business, life, and motivation and information to help you start marketing, grow a profitable business from your kitchen table while you're still working your nine to five. And it starts with you. It starts with you inspiring yourself. Yes, you can hire me or somebody else to inspire you, to make you accountable, to push you, to motivate you. But none of that will happen if you're not ready to move yourself. You have to be inspired to say, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of what my life has been. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of just living a, a okay life when God has said and what he has destined you for greatness. Stop sitting on the sideline on a bench. Get in the game with the players because I'm telling you, opportunity is work dressed in overalls. But if you're not ready to work, the opportunities will consistently pass you by. So that is my message for you today. Pops, I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming in, sharing, tapping that screen. Pastor Monique, God bless you as well. Thank you all so much for coming in, tapping that screen and sharing. I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Yes, likewise. Praise God. God bless you, Pops. I will see you tomorrow between 8 and 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. And until then, blessings and peace. And may everything, everything that you touch, may it turn to gold. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.